Hey everyone, let's talk about the instructions for the vocabulary assignments. At the top of the page, it should read instructions. Please review the PDF of the attached DRE glossary of terms. DRE stands for Department of Real Estate. Read the description of each word, then take that information and put it into your own words as if you are creating your own version of a glossary of real estate terms. So basically what I've done is there are 37 pages, I believe, of terms in the Department of Real Estate on the Department of Real Estate website, and we are going to only do one page per week. Now, you can continue on and do as much as you would like. There are 754 terms, and you will see in the assignments that I actually have a link to a Quizlet that was built by a previous student that covers every single one of those terms and I want you to use that as part of your preparation for the state exam as well as build your own glossary of terms. Take each of these words and put it into terms that make sense for you. The example that I gave, gave at the top of each of our um, week's worth are, is the word abandonment. So in the Department of Real Estate glossary of terms abandonment states the following the failure to occupy and use property that may result in a loss of rights so what this is actually saying is that when we abandon a piece of property we are taking ourselves away from that property we are no longer going to own that property we are no longer going to have the right to quiet enjoyment on that property we are not going to be able to build on that property and we can't come back. The moment we say we no longer want that and state that we are abandoning said property, we have given basically our property to either um, the state or the county or the city, local, whoever the local um, jurisdiction is, right? Whoever the powers are um, that are over that. And then they take over that piece of property and do whatever they would like to do with that property, whether it is to sell it or whether it is to um, do something else with it. We don't have any say over it. We've released any rights to that property. That's what abandonment means. But for the personal interpretation I put in the instructions, I wrote, it's like taking an animal to the SPCA. But when it comes to um, real estate, if you abandon a property, it is possible to lose the right of ownership of said property. So it's not just dropping an, an animal off. This is a situation where it's, it's um, there's a little bit more detail associated with that, right? So in the state of California, when we talk about real estate, we're talking about contractual law. We're talking about the legalities of contractual law in the same way an attorney might do um, this exact same work in possibly another state. And we need to take into the account that those 754 uh, terms in that glossary can be and are used for the state exam. And so the more um, terms that you are aware of and understand, the better off you are in not only preparing for that state exam, but hitting it the ground running and being the 52% that pass the California real estate exam the first time. So with that being said, I am an email away. I am a text message away, I am a Google voice message away, as well as we can set up a um, Zoom meeting so that we can walk through any of the instructions on any of the assignments that might cause you to question what it is that I'm asking for. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.